When I was holding it. Okay, it's dinner time. I should have been showing you this all week, but we didn't. Oh, 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 oh. These are our toys. This is our main. I thought it was seven. Let me check. Who knows if you want to pay? <laughs> Everybody's we tired from all of their four. Mm -hmm. the big table. Around this way. Okay, do we want to get Dale in it? Yeah, we'll get Dale in it. Look at the nice shirt I've got. He does. Look at the nice shirt. Okay. <laughs> and there, we're going to see the sunset as we're leaving. Playing our trivia game. Oh, now, so you see the sunset? The clouds broke just so we could see it. Oh, oh. You guys will see more than the floor. And the song title is A Town Girl. A pretty good life. And I've never felt like this way before. And I swear this is true. And I owe it all to you. So what do we have to say next? So this is Michael McDonald and the song title Who is, it by? is I Need Your Love. What's that? What did you say it was by? Hank Williams. Hank Williams. Tell me why. Oh, tell me why. <laughs> we don't want to be awake, but we're awake. And we're here. I'm glad that this is the only day that the ship is uh, a rocking. Ah, it is rocking. I don't think it's that bad. Do you? No. Okay, do you have cha Do you have balance issues? No. Do you have balance issues? Not normally. Mm -hmm. yeah, I do. Morning, <laughs> she's got a lot to drink. Yeah. This morning? Well, yeah, it was kind of 
How much cold medicine did you take this morning? <laughs> oh. We're just waiting for everybody to come down for breakfast. And then we'll go to bed. And then I was making the comment, somebody was walking by with one of the free bags they gave us, and I said, I could probably put my souvenirs in that bag. Yeah. <laughs> no. Jim said that you probably have to buy a new, another bag. Guess who already bought another bag? Sue. <laughs> Sue bought another bag. She has way too many souvenirs. Okay, our last breakfast together on the cruise. Isn't it a bummer? Lean bag. There's Paul. There's our view. Last, last breakfast together. <laughs> Oh, well, we can have breakfast today. together tomorrow, actually, before we get off the ship. And can you imagine? Oh, you're getting off later too, but it won't be leisurely. Yeah. Well, good morning. Today is Tuesday, May seventh. Today would have been my parents. Let me think. I got to think about this. Wait a minute. Would have been their seventy eighth anniversary if they would have been alive. Right? 50. They were married in 1946, May 7th, 1946, right after the war. But anyway, we have birthdays. Well, happy anniversary to my mom and dad. They're up in heaven together celebrating, I'm quite sure. At least they got Pat and Sue with them. So they'll have a good day today. But we have birthdays. I had to write them down because my memory is like it. And Patty Casey, today's your birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Patty. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. It's also William Hellman's birthday. So, William, I had to write them down there over there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear William. Happy birthday to you. Cha -cha -cha. Well, I hope you both have a great, great birthday. And we have one anniversary, other than my parents, as Suzanne and Greg... Freezy, F-R-E-E-S-E, -E -E, or is it Freeze? Susanna Greg, it's your anniversary, even though I'm messing up your last name. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary, happy, 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 happy anniversary. Well, I hope you have a great anniversary. A um, little confusing this morning because my... Um, we went back into another time zone, so now I think we're in Vancouver time, and we had agreed we were going to meet for breakfast at 9 o'clock, but I was all confused on that, and I woke up at like 3.30 to go to the bathroom, and I looked at my watch, and my and also my phone, and my phone said 3 o'clock, and I looked at the ship's time, and the ship's time said 3 o'clock, so I thought, oh, okay, I'm fine, so I set my alarm clock for 8.30, because we were going to meet at 9 o'clock for breakfast, but I'd also asked my cousin Lynn to text me to let me know, just to make sure I was awake, so she texted me at 7 o'clock, my, according to my clock, and uh, she said, it's, you said to get you up at 8 o'clock, and I said, yeah, but it's only 7 o'clock, and she said, no, it's 8 o'clock, we sprang forward an hour, and I go, no, you know, and we were going back and forth about the thing. And then I looked at the ship thing, and the ship changed its time. But my my phone has not changed. It still has the other time. Jim's phone changed. Bertie's phone didn't. They have the same kind of phone. I think Kathy's phone changed, but... No, Kathy's phone didn't change, but Paul's phone changed. But Lynn's changed. Mine didn't change. And mine still shows the other time, so... I don't know if we're not officially in the time zone or if I have to do something manually with my phone. Jim did not go to breakfast. Um, he just wanted to lay in bed. <laughs> he said, I don't want to get up. So I said, I want to go eat breakfast. I usually don't eat breakfast, but my my eating has been, I've not been going crazy with my eating, but it's been like off because my body is like, I don't know. It's just different time zones or something. When I ate at nine o'clock, my body's still telling me it's one o'clock, maybe even two o'clock. I'm so confused. I'm just so confused. But, uh, so he's getting ready now. And according to my watch, let me see what time my watch says. Well, it doesn't actually talk, but sorry about that. It's 12 o'clock. Well, my watch says it's 11 o'clock, but it's really 12 o'clock. Confusing, I know. Um, I think Paul knows how to do it. When he worked at Best Buy, he was in charge of the cell phones, and so he knows how to work all the phones. He has an Android. I have an iPhone. I'm the only one, I think, that has an iPhone. I think everybody else has an Android. But we're just at sea today. Um, I'm figuring 
we've had such smooth sailing. <laughs> Definitely. Thankfully, it's not been like this every day because uh, this, uh, we really, we are a rock and we're kind of going like that. I'm trying to hold the phone steady, but this is exactly how we're going. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, um, I think it's because we're going back against the current. I don't know. I don't know that much about navigation and that. Because it's really, I don't know if you saw when we were having breakfast, it's not that wavy out there. It's. I mean, there's a little bit of waves, and they're hitting against the ship. So we're going against the current, I think. But everybody scoffed at me. They went, ha, 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 we laugh at you. <laughs> So I don't know. I don't know what the true thing is. But, oh, let me tell you, taking my shower this morning was a challenge. When I first got in, the first day when we took our, when I took my shower, they have um, handicap bars, like, on the front of the shower and the side of the shower. And I'm thinking, well, that's nice that they have that. I wonder why you need it. Because it was such, it was like walking, like, at home. It really was like walking, like, at home. And, uh, oh, no, not today. <laughs> <laughs> Not today. I would hold on to one while I was shampooing my hair. And then when I had to do other little bits and pieces, held on to the other part. <laughs> I was holding on for dear life, let me tell you. And then when I was getting out to get dressed, it was like, oh, it was a challenge. Um, my balance is off so badly. I had gone to physical, I don't know if you remember, but I did go for physical therapy for my balance. And at the end of the six weeks, my balance was worse. So I really had a really crappy physical therapist let me tell you he was like not worth the insurance money that was paid for it but i still have some um therapy time left for the new year here now because remember when i hurt my shoulder i didn't use them all thankfully because i you know i, I just use enough to get my shoulder feeling better and save the other ones because when i get back i'm going to make an appointment with a uh, ear nose and throat guy because maybe something with my equilibrium equilibrium might be something with my inner ear so i'm going to check that out and then um, if that does, comes right, then I'm just going to see if my doctor will give me another prescription to take another uh, course. A lot of it has to do with the weight I've gained back. I know that, which is sad, which is really sad. But uh, all the more reason I want to work on it some more. But getting down to breakfast, <laughs> I was holding on to the bars for dear life because it's really, it really is maybe more so for me because of my balance. But you can really feel the ship moving back and forth because uh i don't know we'll ask jim we won't get him on camera but we'll ask jim do you think that the ship is moving a lot yeah it's rocking and rolling a little bit yeah although it was good sleeping though it was like being rocked like a baby it really was so, like, I don't know if I told you our plans is at 1 o'clock and we're going to meet for music trivia. And then at 3 o'clock we're going to go to the movies to see the movie Miracle. Uh, Lynn and Dale and Sarah. Lynn and Dale and Sarah are going to go to, um, i got to try to get up. Hold my phone there for a minute like that. Let's see, there we go. It's hard for me to get up, I'll tell you. Um are going to a special um, dining room that costs more to eat that you have to pay for. Um, we just decided we're going to go eat for free. I should have showed you the menu every night. They've been a wide variety of choices. My always go-to meal is what, Jim? Chicken. Chicken, which got to be the joke of the table because they'd say, I wonder what kind of chicken Sandy's going to have tonight. Thankfully, they had chicken... Five Every different night. ways, different six, six six different ways, and I've liked every one. Well, the one night was more dark meat than white meat, because I'm not a big fan of dark meat, but I ate it. But if you've never been on a cruise, oh my gosh, there's something to do all the time. Mm -hmm. There's like games to play, there's puzzles you can put together. Trivia. There's trivia, there's drinking, there's eating, there's parties, there's a lot of parties. There's movies. I think I said that already. But you eat. At, you can eat for free all day long. <laughs> no matter where you go, you can get ice cream. You can get desserts. You can get cookies. And I have to say, I think I've done pretty well. Don't you think, Jim? Mm -hmm. I've had a couple cookies. And I've had dessert just two times at the meal for dinner. So I'm hoping that to stay the same when I get home. I don't. Maybe I might gain a pound or two, but not like I could have gained. Because let me tell you, they've got pizza, they've got nachos. They have a really good chicken sandwich, which I might have for my dinner tonight. It's, 
Um, but I, I, it's the way to go. It really is. It's the way to go. I mean, it seems like it's expensive, but what's nice is like we're trying foods that we've never had before because, you know, if you don't like it, you just say, I don't like it, and they'll bring you something else. Whereas if you're at a restaurant at home, you don't like it, you got to pay for it, and then you're going to order something else and pay for that too. So I tried salmon. Salmon. I had salmon chowder. I tried some salmon chowder. If somebody served it to me, I would eat it, but it wasn't something I would order. I also had salmon over rice, I think it was. Once again, if somebody served it to me, I would eat it, but it's not something I would order. It was okay. It was, I'll have to say, it was way better than my mother's salmon patties way back in the day. But, um, yeah, nah, I wasn't a big fan of salmon. I've already had halibut, which I liked. And then I tried, oh my gosh, last night they had the best pea soup. Norwegian, Nor Norwegian pea soup, or Dutch pea soup. Dutch pea soup. Oh, it, I should have ordered two bowls. It was that good. It was really that good. But I have no complaints. Everything, the staff is so friendly. I leave the room and the people, my clerk their steward or whatever knows my name i was i was he saw me in some other part of the ship and he says well how are you doing mrs carico is everything going good and i'm thinking how does he know my name how does he know everybody's name but uh spending a fortune though but you know what you can't take it with you so that's gonna look at me i've talked for 10 minutes already blabbering on like a blabbering fool but i'm not a blabbering fool am i jim mm, no just a fool or just a blabbering <laughs> Oh, you were at fright. <laughs> oh, and then Jim told everybody at the table, tell them about the lasagna. It was very good. He told everybody, it's better than Sandra's. <laughs> and they said, boy, what a brave man. What a brave man. All right, we're going to get ready to do something here. So um, I'll keep you abreast of what we're doing today. Once again, it's Tuesday. We'll be posting this till tomorrow when I'm at the airport. Here's the view. There's another ship approaching. Sandy, we need to go to Dutch tea at 3 p.m. I'm going to the movies at 3 p.m. Oh, right. Damn, why do they keep doing the things I want to do at Together, I know. Or we could go for Dutch tea and go in after the movie started. Well, guess what? We got a animal today, which I think... Hmm... The reindeer? A deer? I don't know, but it's cool. It's not 300 pounds, and if I've told you once, I've told you 12 billion times not to exaggerate. Oh, he did. At least 12 billion. Yeah. <laughs> 12 billion and one now. Yeah. So we've had brother and sister together. People wonder who, how we're all related. And Kathy is Paul's wife. Not for long. Yeah. <laughs> She just had to marry into the Manning family. Just had to. You know what? They they they're trying so hard to get in. I know it. You know, it's a limited bunch that we let in. That's right. So we have high standards. We do have high standards. How did I get in? <laughs> <laughs> okay, now there's Sarah. We're all trying to herd us together like cats. Sarah is Lynn's daughter. I'm trying to give everybody a play-by-play -play on the very last day. <laughs> oh. I don't know, it should just be a surprise. Yeah. Trying to figure it out. Here comes Jim. <laughs> okay, final view of the day of Vancouver. Or, yeah, I think this is. There's. We're all the airplanes are coming from. <laughs> okay, final view.
friends. The last day. It is the last day, and it's sunny. It's a nice day. Nice day. But we have an issue with her too. We had an issue with uh, Paul and Kathy. Because Paul locked, packed his uh, car keys in the suitcase. But Sue lost her. Her card. Oh. They go to customer service and get another one. On the last day. <laughs> It took us long it's enough for her to get ready, and then she said, I lost my car to her. Okay, Sue lost her tag, but she's got another one. She thinks she packed it. Did you have a good time? Did you have a good time? I had a wonderful time. Thank you. And Sue is Bertie's sister-in-law, and we've known each other since we were two or three years old. A long time. Okay, today is Wednesday, May 8th. We're heading home. But we have birthdays today. Today is Sandy Hammerstein's birthday. So Sandy, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sandy. Happy birthday to you. Choo -choo -choo. It's also Nikki Wilson. Nikki Wilson's birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Nikki. Happy birthday to you. Choo -choo -choo. Is she related to Willie? Willie Nelson? I don't know. Nikki, are you related to Willie Nelson? <clears throat> we'll see. But we have an anniversary, but I forgot who it was, so I'll be right back. Okay, and it's Denise and Gary Redinger's 31st anniversary. Happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary, happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. Happy, 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 happy anniversary. We hope you both have a great anniversary, but Jim pointed out what? That my comment made no sense. <laughs> it went right over my head. That's how tired I am. It, it went Nick over my own head. Nikki Wilson has no relation to Willie Nelson. <laughs> we kind of screwed up on that one. Anyway, I'm sitting at the airport. We're waiting to, to go. Um, it was creative packing on my part, let me tell you. We had brought an extra bag for souvenirs. And when we were packing, Jim says, you're not going to get all that stuff in there. We're, we're going to have to go buy another suitcase. And I said, oh, have faith, have faith. I know how to pack. I've watched Valerie, Valerie Reese pack many, many times for a cruise. And so I took some pointers from her. So I got everything all packed, put all my souvenirs in one our bag, carry-on bag that we had brought from home. Got everything all packed perfectly. Really struggled to get the suitcase closed, but I got it closed. I got all done, and then Jim pulls out a bag. Show him how big the bag was that we pulled out of the closet after I had all done packing. How, huh? big, how big was the bag? Oh, when you thought you were done? When I thought I was done. And how tall? Packed. Packed full of stuff. He says, you're going to have to go buy another suitcase. And I go, give me but a minute. Sue had to buy another suitcase. Yeah, Sue had to go buy another suitcase. <laughs> but guess what? I got it all into our three bags and our one carry-on bag. So I did really well. So Jim has a carry-on bag, I have a carry-on bag, and then we're going to check three bags. <coughs> so now we have the long wait for the airport to get into the airport. We're on the outside part of the airport right now. But we had a good time, really good time. So that's it for now. See you soon. Sue's checking all her voicemails because she's a busy woman. And there's Birdie. Birdie's birthday is going to be on May 24th. She's going to be 70. They're driving through Vancouver <coughs> to the airport. Municipalities, some places would call them counties, is about uh, what is it, two point, just under 2.8 million. And those of you that uh, want to buy real estate, if you got lots of pocket change, that's going to take it. <coughs> the average house uh, in Vancouver, depending on the area, we're in the downtown core. And then there's two other areas, the west side and then the east side. The downtown core, you'll see a lot of uh, 
apartment blocks, business uh, buildings all going up as we are surrounded by water on three sides. So we don't have the luxury of urban sprawl. If you can't go out, you got to go up. So on the west side of Vancouver, an average four bedroom home on a lot of roughly, call it 55 to 110, 55 wide by 110 to 110, 20 deep. Uh, you're looking at uh, Vancouver west side, low end 2.5 million. And then it goes up from there. I read an article a couple of days back. Domes uh, down below. Late fall, winter, early spring, we have a nice rink down there. Okay, now we get to wait for, what she say, 6.40? We get to wait a long time. 6.40, and it is... That's 10, just so we can turn our bags. So I turn our bags, and it's 10.58 right now, so we have... 12 hours, basically. Before we leave, but we got seven hours before... We can check our bags. I'm tired. I'm going to take a little nap. I know that. But we can't get into the airport because we have luggage. And they won't check the luggage until 540. But we had a good time. We had a 40-minute bus ride over to get to here to the airport. And, uh, we have a... The flight leaves at 1140 and we go in at 710. Which is really 410 this time, Vancouver time. But we had a good trip. I'll share some highlights with you on tomorrow's video. See you then. Bye.